EasyRobot.com Personal Robotics for everyone. I plug a servo into the EZB and I'm going to give you a little bit of technical information on how the servo is controlled by the EZB. So all servos are controlled the same way and with this oscilloscope you're going to be able to see the pulses that actually tell the servo what position to move into. So right now the servo is just hanging there not being used at all so therefore we have no pulses on the screen. But when I move it to the lowest position you're going to see that there's a single pulse and you can see the width of that pulse. Now as I increase the width, the servo starts to move. So I'm moving the position of the servo and the pulse is actually increasing its width. So if I zoom out now, you're going to see multiple pulses. And each pulse is controlled by the EZB and the width determines the position of the, of the servo. So if I go all the way to the slowest, you see how thin the pulse gets. The pulse is repeated. Now it's different with the EZB versus other uh, servo controllers is if you notice the pulse width changes but the actual pulse position doesn't. So we're more accurate than most servo controllers in the sense that we don't take in consideration the uh, just the width of the pulse and the loop time. We actually take all those numbers into consideration. That's kind of neat if we actually zoom in here. And if I slow the speed down in the servo, so I'll slow it down quite a bit here, and I'm going to move the servo now, you're going to see it moves slowly as the servo moves. I'm going to slow the servo down a little bit more. And let's do it again. And we can go even a little bit slower. So there, so now you can see the accuracy that Easy Robot provides you for your servo positioning. Pretty cool.